Hey, this is Rob with Ren and Rob Cook. We just received our Weber Smokefire Hopper insert. I just wanted to kind of show you how it goes into the uh, grill. First of all, uh, I had to look at finding out revision of the auger that I had. So I had to empty out the pellets. You just gotta slide this little contraption out here and then dump out all your pellets. By the way, I use Weber Smokefire pellets. As you can see, the Weber pellets are a little bit thinner, and that's why they recommend it. I know a lot of people have uh, talked about their pellets getting stuck in um, their auger or having some uh, auger feeding issues, which cause flame outs. So in the meantime, because I had to take a picture and empty out my hopper, um, I decided just to remove the finger guard. I figure I won't be uh, sticking my fingers in there anyway. There's about three... Uh, screws using flathead they're pretty easy to remove it's just kind of a weird angle so uh, you know you just make sure you remove those You're, you'd have to remove this bottom right one anyway in order to um, install the hopper I had to remove the finger guard to get all the pellets out of the auger chute in order to take a picture So I don't know which type of auger I have right now, but um, whoever asked me to take a picture and send it to him, so this is how it looks. Apparently there's a new auger revision F that actually is uh, one piece versus, uh, I guess, like put together between uh, multiple or two pieces. So this is the hopper insert. Doing a little unboxing for you. This is how it comes. Wrapped up in bubble wrap. Nice and shiny. This is actually the bottom of the insert, which just fixes the angle because the natural angle of the EX6 doesn't allow the pellets to slide down as efficiently as it should, causing some flame outs. But to be honest, I've never experienced that just because I usually just push the pellets over the, the feeder or the shoot hole. These are the instructions. As you can tell, they're pretty similar to the smoke fire instructions. Mostly illustrations, not a lot of words, but it's pretty self-explanatory. There's only four steps. One is putting a cloth down the chute so that you don't drop any screws. It's removing the screws, putting in the screws, uh, and then pretty much screwing it back in. So a lot of screwing. They give you this, not quite an Allen wrench, I forget what they call it, torque wrench or something, but um, it's a different type for this particular screw on the top of the hopper. And because I'm gonna be not gonna be using the built-in slide anymore, I decided to make sure to clean it. You can tell there's a little bit of pellet dust, which I heard too also causes some issues in the auger getting getting built up and stuck. But again, I haven't had any issues, and I've cooked a few things on it. The hopper insert fits pretty snug, so it took a while to actually find the angle to get it in. Once you do, I start with this screw. Um, I had a little bit of a gap, so I had to screw it in a little bit more, obviously, because I removed the finger guard. Also because of the weird angle again. I had to, a little bit of finagling in order to get the screws back in. Then you use that torque wrench again to tighten the top. Again, because of the weird angle, you really gotta make sure you tighten it well. They say you can still fit 20 pounds of pellets in. Um, I only put in the leftover that I had initially. I think some people think you might not be able to fit 20, but um, I think you can still fit some pellets right on top here. Uh, so I'll give it a try in the next round. But there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe to our channel.